miniature golf and here is their pool not very big does look like they have um, a little water fountain thing that spits out water that blue thing in the middle and the miniature golf nice shaded quiet area back here they also have a small indoor water park type thing um, and a fitness center. Fitness center. I will pull up pictures online and insert them now. So all this is the water park and it looks like one slide is outside. Comes outside the building. Yep. And unfortunately we were going to do this uh, when we got back to the room last night. But we fell asleep for like two hours and by the time we woke up it only had like 15 minutes left before, 15-20 minutes before it closed. Looks like another outside pool right there. It's very small. We're going into the parking deck for the Hershey Story, the museum on Chocolate Avenue. And it's free parking. We're pretty much across the street from the park, but it's not really easy to get to like across the street. Hello everyone, it is Monday, September 21st, 2020. We have just checked out of Hershey Lodge. Hopefully you've seen that resort and room tour. As part of our stay there, they gave us free tickets to the Hershey Story and the Hershey Gardens. So we are going to do both of those today rather quickly so that we can head on to our nine hour drive. It is normally 1350 for adults, 13 for the museum, 1350 for the lab at 950 each for kids. I'm in love with this thing because it is very steampunkish. Oh, is this what this does? No, I guess this isn't on. He said this activates um, some kiosk. This is really neat. So our tickets are only good for the museum experience, not for the chocolate tasting, which is fine because we're limited on time. I like this picture of him sitting on the steps with the kids. Um, it's kind of off a little bit just because girls weren't allowed in um, until after he passed away, but it's the whole, it's symbolic. So the first room we go into is a little about the earlier times and him getting started. Okay, it says that this hat belonged to Milton Hershey and that on his first trip abroad in 1892, he bought that pocket watch. Okay, we're gonna take this disc, Lakeland's gonna put it up to there, and there's gonna be some type of video. It's stuck. A fresh start in a fresh city. Seemed like a smart idea. Even at 25, Milton had already been through professional ups. That's the inside, the cocoa bean. And you know he had a caramel business before he had the chocolate business? All right, on to the next room. That's what the product package looked like for 11 years, 1900 to 1911. Oop, Tom just pushed the button. Wow. That is so cute. See all the little Hershey kisses? Can you imagine wrapping each one by hand? So from 1907 to 1921, that's what happened. Actually, it was an employee's idea um, for a wrapping machine. 
you know chocolate way back when used to be a luxury that basically only the elite could afford and Milton Hershey he made it affordable for everybody this is insane oh my gosh so he bought this for five thousand dollars which was a lot back then he had it in his soda fountain shop until it closed in 1904 and then put it in his new home one's making it do things oh my gosh he sold gum soap flakes he didn't somebody had to Cocoa butter is a byproduct of making chocolate. Hershey transformed excess cocoa butter into a wide variety of soaps. Oh, yes, he did. Ice cream. And, of course, milk. Oh, of course we have to have the whole E.T. Reese's Pieces thing in here. But I don't think they bought Reese's until... Delicious? Of course. The but Hershey also 30s or 60s? The 60s. 64 maybe? Oh Hershey's man, that's why they closed the factory tours. Because it was so popular that the town, the traffic, the factory could not hold the demand basically. There's too many people wanting to come. I walked in just as the movie is starting. In 1932, a chocolate bar cost five cents. He's turned the success and rev up the conch machine. Let's make some chocolate. Ready for it? Ready for it? Oh, whoa, that was loud. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cool. Can you imagine being in a factory with a whole bunch of these things? Wow. And here's one of those things. Here's one of those things. What's that feel like? Oh my gosh, that is so heavy. It's the granite roller and base. Okay, I am absolutely floored. I had no idea that the first use of radiation to treat cancer was in 1896. And these special holiday boxes, I would love to have that awesome vintage boxes. There's rabbit molds for Easter. They used to have a honey bar started in 1925, 26, and it was discontinued in 41. So their tropical chocolate was discontinued in 83. I don't remember that one at all. And like I learned yesterday at Chocolate World, that dark chocolate, my favorite chocolate, came out the year I was born. Well, these are cool. These are different advertisements. That was 1953. Oh, do I have to keep touching it? When Milton Hershey returned here in 1900, he didn't just build a factory, he built a community. He provided housing for his workers. It doesn't say this on here, but that's just what um, Vanderbilt did too at the Biltmore house. Wow, this is his toiletry set, a Tiffany silver toiletry set. He actually traveled a lot, especially after his wife's death. Oh, this is such a cool artifact. This is his passport. He was 5'7". It says gray hair and his eyes were blue. Oh, I'm so glad I saw this because in all these pictures that we see him, he looks like he has like astounding blue eyes and this confirms that he does have blue eyes. He puts his occupation as manufacturer. I literally just got chills. This is a canceled check for $300 to the White Star Line. You recognize that name. He was, that was his deposit to go on the Titanic. But Urgent Business Matters um, forced him to book an earlier voyage. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if he would have been on that? So much like, wow, so much would not have happened. And this is his wife, um, Catherine, or otherwise known as Kitty, 
This is her um, medical kit, her travel medical kit. And I know there's a glare. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Mrs. M.S. Hershey. Wow, so this is a shirt or a bodice uh, that was worn by Katherine Hershey. That looks extremely heavy. Oh my goodness. These are types of artifacts I love. So this is a door pull from the Hershey factory. Notice it has, a, looks like a cherub and he's holding a cocoa bean. That's what it looks like to me. And then this is a telephone used within the Hershey Park. Wow. The Hershey Arena under construction in 1936. Okay, so yesterday I showed you guys a, um, in, where were we? Oh, the gift store at Hershey Park. We were going out. And this is what it looked like. They had one of these little train cars on display. And so this is what it actually looked like. Like there's no sides, there's no seat belts or anything. It was in the middle, and when they got to the end of the track, everyone stood up. Yep, they switched their seats and the seat around. Would flip over yeah, and they'd go the other way. Old Hershey Park cap. These are souvenirs from the park? Really? What's this pipe thing? That is so weird. Salt and pepper shakers? Oh, I guess they had like a photo booth. A fan? Okay, I was close. I, th I think I said um, 1964 that, Reese, that Hershey bought Reese, but it was 1963. A paintbrush was used to smooth the chocolate on top of Reese's peanut butter cups. Actually, H.B. Reese and um, Hershey were like, they're basically friends. I am learning so much. I did not know there was a Hershey department store where they sold a fur coat like this. I want to know the origin of the Kisses Street Lamps. So in 1963, Hershey Chocolate Corporation President Sam Hinkle suggested Hershey improve its downtown lighting. Donald Chubb, a chocolate company electrical engineer, proposed using a Hershey Kisses shape. The 55 wrapped and 52 unwrapped Kisses Street lights along Chocolate Avenue were dedicated on December 23rd, 1963 because of Hinkle's connection to the project. They became known as Hinkle's Twinkles. And, in there the fir and we were the first to introduce the almond bar. That was his voice. Now you must use an unbelievable amount That's of cocoa beans. We use what, as much cocoa, uh, now that cocoa is. beans as France, Switzerland, Italy, and Spain put together. Hmm. How large is your town, Hershey, Pennsylvania? Hershey, Pennsylvania has a population of 2,500. They have a chocolate lab here where you can uh, taste different chocolates and kind of make chocolate. Tom needs coffee, so the Pantry Cafe is where we are now. They have a Keto quiche. Wow, lots of quiches and salads. And of course, cupcakes. Wow, y'all ate that really quick. <laughs> What's this? Cranberry? Yummy. So it's just like cranberry juice. No, it doesn't. Raspberry. I've never heard of Turkey Hill raspberry tea. Now, Turkey Hill, we were actually going to go to that experience, but we just didn't have enough time. Um, you know, they the whole ice cream thing. I didn't realize they made tea, too. This is really good. The museum actually has some of the same products that the shops that we've been in have but then they have different products too cow with hershey kisses um haven't seen this t-shirt haven't seen melt wax well, it wax melts i got that backwards uh haven't seen whatever this is 
handcraft oh glass Christmas ornament they have bags that I haven't seen this is interesting they have a whole bunch of books here um, in this book it says neither authorized nor sponsored by the Hershey Company but the museum is selling it so that's kind of like they agree with whatever's in it so they had samples of hot chocolate Hershey Kisses what did you think is it like a fake hot chocolate taste it, it is tastes like you just like took a spoonful of the powder and some chocolate and ate it <laughs> okay so we're in the Cuba section. He actually had a boys school and a whole bunch of other things um, in Cuba for 30 years. He was in the process of selling it when he died and it did the whole everything that he had down there was sold in 46. So one person from Cuba said Mr. Hershey paid the best prices. The Hershey Corporation was considered the best paying and most honest sugar company in Cuba. So this was the future site for Central Hershey in 2017. And this is Hershey Cuba in 1920. I think I just said 2017. <laughs> you, you know what I meant. <laughs> Cuba had limited access to retail goods at the time, so um, one person fashioned an old, let's see, a Hershey's 100 pound sugar bag um, into a shirt. A Bat Boy uniform from 1956, tells you actually even who owned it. Um, his father worked in the sugar refining industry. His family was one of the first eight families to move to Central Hershey. It is 11-12 and we're off to the Hershey Gardens. And we recommend the Pantry Cafe. It was really fresh wraps and sandwiches.